recognize nine truly outstanding individuals whose lives and work on behalf of the patients of this country set them apart and have earned them our great thanks and our respect. Our first award, and I'm going to ask Dr. Haven to join me, is for the outstanding member of the state legislature. It's the Honorable Susan Paddock, who was elected to the Oklahoma State Senate in November 2004. She is the Democratic Whip and co-chair of the Judiciary Committee, and her work on education and health care issues has been especially notable. Senator Paddock serves on the Governor's Elimination of Health Disparities Task Force, the State Coverage Initiative to Reform Health Care in Oklahoma, and the Governor's Catastrophic Health Emergency Planning Task Force. With a passion to promote both education and health care in Oklahoma, Senator Paddock guided landmark legislation to expand the state's prescription program to make it available statewide. She also authored legislation to bring greater access to care in rural communities and to address shortages in nursing and allied health. And she wrote a bill to give lawsuit protection for charitable medical services. All this and more, because before being elected to the Oklahoma Senate, she served in a capacity close to us at the AMA. She was president of the AMA Alliance in 2000 and 2009. Time, she has compiled a remarkable record of accomplishment for better health care for the people of Oklahoma. So tonight we honor her with the Nathan Davis Award. Join me again in recognizing our outstanding tonight. The first and the foremost is my husband Gary Paddock. He was a cute little medical student way back when and he asked me would you marry me if you could get a job and put me through medical school. <laughs> now what girl can turn that down? <laughs> and to that I said yes and so began my career and my commitment to him and to health care. In 2004 I asked him to put me through a very arduous campaign and I'll tell you, he got the harder of the two deals. I thank him for his unwavering support. The second reason I'm here. The second reason I'm here is because of the AMA Alliance. Since the day I started, there you go. I attribute the AMA Alliance to providing me with all the skill sets I needed from legislative advocacy to health policy to public speaking. The Alliance trained me, and I didn't know at the time, but they were preparing me to run for office. And it was the AMA Alliance who nominated me for this award, and I just want to say thank you from the very bottom of my heart to them. Here, here. here before you tonight is because of you. It is because the family of medicine from local doctors who for the first time ever went out and knocked doors, they distributed brochures, they phone banked, they wrote checks. Doctors and their spouses from California to New York cared about an Oklahoma Senate race and as a political unknown and a race that went one of six over 200,000, the only ones in the state that year, I could not be here were it not for the family of medicine and all of your support. And all the success I've had is attributable to the love and the support and the caring of the family of medicine. And I think that's appropriate at this National Advocacy Conference because guess what? 
I'm here to challenge you to take that leap of faith like I did. There are very few people who understand medicine's issues. They're not in your state capital, and sometimes they're not in your national capital. And so I am challenging you, I implore you, I encourage you, I ask you to think about running for office because the health care of tomorrow is dependent on all of you and the input that you put in today. So I encourage you to think about doing what I'm doing because we can together as a family of medicine make a difference for health care in this nation in the future. In closing, let me just say thank you to all those who made it possible for me to stand here. There's so many friends in the room and I love you all and I thank you to the AMA and to the selection committee for this Nathan Davis Award. From the very bottom of my heart, I say thank you. What an honor and privilege. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you.